Hey guys, here with the unboxing of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle Collector's Edition. Uh, I was surprised when I went and picked this up. I didn't think the figure was quite that big. It's, it's actually pretty large. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So it's supposed to come with a 6-inch figurine, as you can see, the limited edition game, official soundtrack, and 12 exclusive trading cards. I'll show you the back slip right there. I'm just going to slide this out. I went in ahead and pre-cut the tape here just so I'm not waste all your guys' time. It's a nice box. I'll give them that. They did a very good job on the packaging. I know this was pretty limited. It was GameStop only. I was lucky. I kind of, after the E3, I ran over there and pretty much put my pre-order in and I was the first person. Um, they only had three copies, I believe, which is not a lot. All right, first up we have over 50 E3. It includes Pixel Pack, eight unique weapons. So we have the game right here. Our switch, I'm, right after this, I'm literally gonna go and pop it in and start playing. Next up, we have the official soundtrack. Can't wait to take a, hear what they, uh, their kind of twist on the Mario music. Sounded good from all the previews and everything I've seen. And then we have Collector cards. Should I open it? You know what? I'll open it for you guys. Let's see. Let's see what is in here. All right. As you guys know, I don't know if anyone knows, but I do card breaks also. <laughs> so it's only fitting that I will open this up. So first up, we got Luigi. Then we got a Mario. Let me take a look at the backs at these also. So it kind of shows you weapons, techniques, and special move abilities. It's kind of like an overview of the cards. We got Mario here. Then we got Peach. Rabid Luigi. Rabid Mario. We got Rabid Peach. Rabid Yoshi. And just plain old Yoshi. Ooh, and this is interesting. So these are kind of stuck together here. Let's see. And then we got, I guess the bad guys are foils. We got Phantom. Then we have Parab Parabid Plant. <laughs> and I think there's two more here that kind of stuck together. Here we go. Got Bowser Jr. What's a Mario game without Bowser in it? And this, funny from the previews, Rabbit Kong. Kind of like how they kind of take over the personas of Mario figures. So let's open this thing up. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty large figure. I'll try to get this open. Oh, there's tape there. No wonder why. I'm like, this should come apart much easier than it is. Always that little piece of tape that just stops you in your tracks. Alright, it's probably one on the other side too. There we go. That's ah, pretty hefty. It does come off its base is actually it's hefty it's it's not it's not a light figure so it's not hollow um it's got some definitely some weight to it paint job's pretty decent overall some nicks and everything here and there but it's not too bad it's a pretty nice figure <laughs> yeah and you could put him on a stand which I'm going to do that right now. He's going to go sit in front of my Switch, shooting my Switch probably. There we go. So rather Mario, and I believe you could buy these also in the other figures um, individually. I think they're 40 bucks. A little pricey, but I could see why. I thought they were kind of like the hollow figures, but they are pretty hefty. They feel like they're well built. So uh, props to Ubi for actually getting this right. I, was, I didn't know if I was a fan when I first seen the figure, but you know, up close and personal it, it's it's charming it's got its charm it's nice anyways guys that's the game that's the unboxing thanks for watching